Oh man, just make it to me. Just make it to me. Yeah, unless you have to leave. Alright, so, Sunido Kamikaze. You know, best of five now. Now as I do have an extra game to work with, so is Sunido. Doesn't want to take another L to Kamikaze like he did last time. Last match goal. Now let's start on the same stage they did. I believe Sunido took Kamikaze to the first game last time. But hopefully Sunido made those adaptations, you know? Stage doesn't have to matter. He's fighting the player in the end. And he, and Sunido, looks like his strides are going out right now. Able to rack Kamikaze up to 100 for damage, but as we've seen plenty of times, uh, Yoshi just has such a good damage output, such good combos, and just such a good advantage, you know? He can easily tie this up, but it's not going to tie up the stock. So yeah, Sunido, getting that lead. 33 off the bat with the down B. 60 damage from two spin dashes. Gonna use the invincibility on the side B version. Down B does not have invincibility, but side B does. And side B is gonna be able to get out, stuff out all the approaches, stuff out all the landing options. It's not as useful as it was because you still have to commit to the side B since uh, there's no shielding after it. Alright, back to it? Okay. Going for some stage positioning. Uh, kind of pushing Kamikaze close to the ledge, but wasn't able to really get much out of it. However, Kamikaze is at a very high percentage. Even if Sunido loses his stock, he still has a pretty lead. As you know, sitting comfortably with his lead right now. Uh, able to miss, missing the second hit. But at least that forward there got stronger. Ooh, grabbing a spin dash, no to that. Alright, Sonic gonna have to go for his air dodge. And Kamikaze saw it, but wasn't able to get it. Down throw? Yeah, no air dodge coming out. Oh, but great job. Uh, Sonic no longer has invincibility on the rising portion of his up beam. It's only on the startup. So you can actually stuff him out a lot of times. Which is a really good change, thank you, Sakurai. Kamikaze sitting at a 70 damage. Oh, make that 90. But he's really capable of making these combats, as we've seen multiple times. Just have to make sure to play this stock. Smart. Yes, yeah, Sneedle going really far. Doesn't want to get doesn't want to get edge guarded. I don't know if Kamikaze realizes this, but uh whenever Sonic hits the stage with his homing attack, he actually has a lot of lag. There is nothing he can do. Like when he hits your shield, he can he can, depending on how high you use your shield, he can uh, air dodge. But if he hits the ground, that he can't do anything. That is a, uh, you know, that's just a free punish. Kamikaze obviously not realizing that, but hopefully like reviews this and, and knows that hey, Sonic hits the ground, that's your punish. You hit that. Do not let him hit the ground for free, guys. Sonic has so much lag when he hits the ground. If he hits your shield, he has to he has a chance to, to, depending on where he hits it. Usually, uh, Sneedle enjoys doing a jump into homing attack because it has a higher chance of hitting the top of your shield. If it hits the top of your shield, he can air dodge. Uh, if it hits the bottom of your shield, he's going to have lag all the same. But if it hits the ground, do not let him land for free. That is a free punish. Anyways, Kamikaze is going to go to uh, you know, his, his story, his island. Okay, Eggway. I'll do a quick 8 damage. Neil's gonna mash out of that though, which is at 0. There's no jump. Well, the jump is back online. Yeah, trying to use the platform to be reverse. Trying to get some mid-set against Neil though. Uh, I don't know how. I know how Sonic Spin Dash. Uh, actually has a, a little bit of gravity with it when it comes to slants. If he spin dashes uh, going up a slant, he slows down. If he spin dashes going down a slant, he speeds up. I don't know if the slants here make enough of a difference though, because the slants kind of curve up and down, so it probably doesn't affect the speed. But uh, like, if Sneed, but you know, if Sneedo knows, or if any Sonic mains know, you know, 
try using that to your advantage, you know. If you don't want to, like, if you want to get a really fast spin dash, but you don't want to charge it too fast, you know, try spin dash on the slant. I don't know how much of it makes a difference, though. I mean, it already started. Next week. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get the back air out. Not taking too much damage. Kamikaze not making that great of a use of a stock. Living for a long time, wasn't gonna really get any hits in. All right, great grab. I think Kamikaze tried to jump there. So I'm gonna catch him out the jump. Yeah, forward tail up here. Bread and butter for Yoshi. One of the best buffs he's had in Smash history. Oh, the slant there actually messing up Sneedle's homing attack. Uh, like I said, when you use the top of your shield, you can air dodge, but that's only because he hit it from above. So he actually has like, he has less, he has uh, more, uh, he has more distance from the ground, so you can actually act. But on that slant, hitting the top of your shield, he's still gonna land before you can act. Wow, that died. He died from that. That's a Smash 4 combo right there. Gonna work again in this game, even with the bit of a nerf up air. You know, some things never change. That's definitely the quick stock that Sneedle wanted. Doesn't want to like give. Doesn't want to like keep this even. Nobody ever wants to keep it even. You obviously want to like take the stock as fast as possible. So great knowledge from Sneedle, knowing that center platform, knowing his positioning, knowing the percents for the combo. Yeah, spin. Oh, spin that's gonna hop over the tongue. Yeah, down B, but not as strong as it used to be. Still a very fast option, and really good when it works. Yeah, trying to go for some down airs, but Sneedle's gonna go for the low recovery as always. Up here. Not, not too bad of a deficit for Kamikaze. Definitely, you know, a bunch of forward to up airs. Definitely gonna put Kamikaze into an even game with that. But Sneedle's not gonna let him have it. She didn't die. Okay, yeah. You know, pro commentator strat. You know, once once the game, you know, once once we have the game for a little bit more, our pro commentators are gonna like know what's gonna kill and what isn't gonna kill. And that's how you tell the like the super good commentators from the from the average ones. But I'm average myself. <laughs> I just have a lot of game law knowledge, so I know what's gonna kill and what's not. That's gonna kill for sure. No chance of surviving that. So yeah, Sneedle going up 2-0. Kamikaze, looks like he's running out of juice right now. We're gonna take him to the same stage. <laughs> Never mind, we're not gonna take him to the same stage. Alright, so this is what we're gonna go Town City. I don't think Kamikaze is going to go Smashville. Yeah. Kamikaze is not really the one to go Smashville, so Talon City kind of made the most sense to me. Yeah, keep her out with the same characters. Alright, yeah, both of them went to the center stage with Nido immediately chickening out. <laughs> giving Kamikaze the stage, but not that it matters. Kamikaze is going to give it right back to Nido. Um, Kamikaze is not really good, but keeping his stage control. Like, yes, he, he has great knowledge on his combo percents, great knowledge on his landing options, great knowledge on everything about Yoshi, but he's never really been the one to keep the stage positioning. He's always been the one to get his guaranteed damage and kind of just go away. Like, he usually doesn't fish, unless he's like really has to as a mix up. But it, it's so rare. And like the times when he does do it, it's usually not that great. Other than that, his neutral is fantastic. He just his he just gives it up too much. He gives up his stage positioning. 
and tries to reset neutral again. And you don't want to give your character too many. You don't want to give your opponent too many chances to reset neutral after being in a deficit. And yeah, gonna Sino gonna call that spot dodge. Gonna get the forest smash. Strong stock from him. Ready to? Alright, yeah, he's gonna mash out. That was a great air dodge, <laughs> but uh, if, he d if he did a neutral air dodge, he would have lived, but the rushing air dodge is gonna kill him. That's too much lag going to recover. That was a really good setup by Kamikaze. Didn't see that at all today, at all the sets, at all, at all this set, all the last sets he played. You know, sometimes you gotta bring out the hidden knowledge. You know, when you're down 2-0. Yeah, homing attack. Uh, yeah, Sonic can now release his uh, spin dash when he's airborne. Well, the side B version. Uh, in Smash 4, whenever Sonic went for the side B version. Oh my god! Yo, it, was that intentional? That was kind of godlike. Homing attack to stop the double jump armor into footstool to kill him. That was kind of OD. Okay, Sonido. Nilo breaking out the hidden knowledge himself. Alright, gonna catch that landing. Yeah, side B version of spin dash has invincibility, can't contest it. Alright, not going for any up throw combos. Nilo has the clear advantage, not really giving Kamikaze the chance to put his two uh, feet on the ground for very long. Not take that lag. Ah, but I wasn't able to get anything from it. That was dead. Good stuff for the 3 0. Oh, do that again sometime. 